Italy. Okay, people, you can all see the square in it here. And the whole thing is in a circle for the compass. So it says square and compass. And there are three lines for the concept of four. And they are vertical for the vertical rule. Because our masters, they, they are from the vertical rule. And we're going back to a vertical rule. So it's all Masonic. Kind of a school or something. Uh, we weren't even looking for it. You see, there's the... Uh, the compass and there's a square in it as well uh, it's all you know um, occult here so I was hitchhiking I'm in a convertible I hitchhiked with the German guy uh, I think it's a school with a French flag it's um, there's an obelisk on top it's everywhere the Sun hieroglyph here an obelisk on top it's just everywhere it's, uh, it's in the Jewish quarters in Strasbourg actually where I filmed the Pharaoh so here's the town of Egisheim with the three castles here behind. And the Pope is marching on three pillars. And um, not too many cars, I'll just go a little bit nearer. So you see the three pillars, it's a concept of three. And this Pope has already shown you, his, his parents, they were living in a castle. They were the Duke or something. No, the Count of Egisheim. There's the castles. And uh, so it's a concept of three and he's marching on top of the concept of three which is them, our masters. So he's even on top of all them. And you see each pillar has four sides. So that's the concept of four which is us the people and we are carrying them, our masters. So as there is the concept of four and three, it also says square and compass. So, you know, everything is here. Uh, I just want to film him from the, his face like. And uh, so it all has a reason. It's always the three and the, and it's also a little bit like, you know, the miracles, like he's like walking on water, like, you know, everything is in it. And he is also, the horizontal rule and the vertical rule so it's three times the horizontal rule the new rule from our masters and before there was the vertical rule here going all the way down and now, and now it became the new rule and still the concept of three you see these pillars they are uh, like squares there are four sides so we are carrying our masters, we work for them, we pay them, they're, they're parasiting on us. So here you can read it, here in English. The thing, he's in an octagon, you see. Here you can read the whole story in English. Those who want to see it in German. Uh, where is it? There. And here in French. So here it says, um, yeah, he was born in a castle, you see. His name was Bruno of Egisheim Dabo, and he died in Rome. Our masters. So it's also, you know, before there was the vertical rule, which is represented here as well and then became the horizontal rule uh, it's can it can be seen in his staff but it can also seen here and there's a lot of waves in it because it didn't just come just without any problems you know the the new world or the horizontal rule so there's a lot of waves you know a lot of internal strife which you can see here in his robe horizontally so even that's in it it's completely occult and symbology and and um, some people think you know these three pillars it represents the three towers yeah there's something in it but of course it is the concept of three and the pillars they're not round it would have been much nicer if they would have been round but it's it must be like um, squares like four sides because otherwise it wouldn't be like square and compass our masters Born in a castle, the Vatican 
belongs to the aristocracy. That's what I've been telling you. The, 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 the Catholicism belongs to our kings, whereas the Protestantism was made by the Knights Templars who made the horizontal rule. So, and of course the Pope, he knew what was happening. So maybe he was already in favor of it. And that's why it shows the, the horizontal rule here with a lot of waves and a lot of internal strife before it was set in place, you know, perfectly. They have the perfect rule now. Ruling over their slaves is really tight, total control. It's as tight as the Pope's underwear. Our total control. Now here's a picture of the Pope. Just look at his long nose. That's typical pharaonic and no pharaonic nobility. That's him. The Pope Leon. So this was the bag for the it's paper, the paper bag for the uh, for the baguette. So there's the baguette. Well, that's what left of it. And it's like the other time you remember about uh, they said about violence on women. And I put that in that film where I was aggressed by a woman. You know, they just want to uh, it's a war against against masculinity anyway part of it and by whom is it again it's by here it says the french republic and it says liberty equality fraternity well we know what that means it's just it just means it's the new world's order horizontal rule by the republic excuse me here in the logo, you got three circles for the concept of three, and the circle is the uh, stands for the compass. And here in this strange thing here, you know this this thing here. Well, there are two times a square in it, and there's also here three squares in this thing here. Uh, what what what's it about? You know. Well, they talk about evolution. I have no idea. It doesn't even say what it's about. It's a sort of an organization called C E More My C E P. And uh, you know what, what? What do they show? They talk about evolution. This is their evolution. They show to the right here a Nubian woman. I mean. I just say Nubian to be on the safe side because I have no idea what is still allowed to call him. I, I don't know anymore. I've got nothing against other races or against these people, but well, I don't want to go to prison, you know, so I, I, I don't know anymore how to call him. And here there's an Arab woman. I mean, look at the hair. That's not European. That's Arabic. I mean, I think think you, we can still say Arabic. I'm not really sure, but uh, there's no French at all, no Europeans, an Arabic woman, both are from Africa, and a, uh, a Nubian. Well, the word Nubian, it's what the pharaohs use, so it's a historical word. word. There's nothing wrong about it, you know, don't put me in prison, please. I've got nothing against these people. I've got nothing against other races. I think it's quite exciting to have all these people here. So, but I, I, what I just want to show you is how the government here, with all their secret symbols and Freemason stuff here, they are they're doing publicity on the baguette uh, about how they would like the world to be. Um, to, to look like, you know, all mixed. And this is their agenda. And this is why we have the war in uh, in the Ukraine. Because they want to mix it all up. You know, Ukraine, it's quite... Um, it's quite European, more European than France or Germany. And now there's six or seven million Ukrainians are gone and they make place for this here. This is what it's all about, you know. And um, I, 
so in this video I just want to show you what's the agenda of the Freemasons and of our masters and the agenda is to mix us all up so there won't be any more Nubian race no more Arabic race no more white races all mix it all up so you know so they can easier rule over us this is something commercial stuff here I don't know here this uh, it's a bag a sock a bag for publicity it's publicity bag it says why do they put it in red here well that's a triangle the concept of three uh, why do they put the I well because in red well first of all it has a square on, on top of the I there's a little square on it so it's a concept of four and there we got the concept of three so you have to just have to look they want you to look at the red so what do I see at the red there's the concept of three and there's the concept of four and then why is this I a part of the M it says impact because you so we have to look at the M the a part of it is gone you know because the M as usual they, they always do a lot of things with the M it stands for Mason that's why they do that and red is the um, the color of the old world order so this is what they want you know they just want to have pharaohs the old world order the the, the red house of pharaoh and, um, and and the rest all mixed you know that's uh, their agenda and again I've, I have nothing against other races I um, 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 you know I I made a lot of nice Arabs actually and um, uh, it would take me hitchhiking or Turks and um, or whatever but I don't like what Pharaoh the meaning you know the the the, the strategy and the tactics behind it you know because little children have to die for it we had two world wars you know because of all this and now we got the Ukraine war because of all this and I say you know little Ukrainian children they shouldn't die for this here yeah this is you know Pharaoh's agenda you know, with all their fancy talk here liberté égalité fraternité so this is in Alsace you know it's an Alsatian baguette here and uh, this is uh, what it shows there's no more Alsatians on it it's like uh, Europeans don't exist anymore for them you know that's that's what it is and uh, so wakey wakey people so all races and all religions and all people together we must uh, stand up against pharaohs also these here we must all stand up all together against Pharaoh because we're all victims of Pharaoh okay now look at this logo here look at this here we all see the pyramid eh? and the brand is UTG okay in the middle is a big M so where's the UTG <clears throat> That's the M for Mason, of course. The M in a pyramid. Oh, isn't that lovely? They must be proud of themselves, eh? So all their, <clears throat> their brothers in the fraternity, they can see the M in the pyramid. <coughs> the M for Mason. Okay, the UTG, okay. To the left, that might be a U in it, eh? In the pyramid here. Okay, we could say that. And on the right hand side there is an L. So that says U M L. The brand is U T G. So maybe that's the name of their Freemason Lodge or something, right? Eh? It's it's just everywhere, you know. Everywhere. Oh that's interesting. I already wondered why you know at the top at the, at the at the top it's like pyramid and at the bottom why you know why does it go up here why does it go up here at the bottom 
Well, I mean, if you look at it in 3D, this is a square here. It's a square. And this is probably 60 degrees here. So you see here's a square. If you just try to look at it in 3D, you know what I mean? Like this is a corner here. Here's the corner and goes to this side and goes to that side. And this is 60 degrees for the compass. And here's the square. So it does say square and compass. Oh, very smart, boys. Very smart, eh? Robust steel. Very smart. You must be proud of yourselves, eh? Nobody sees it except yourselves, eh? And of course in the L is also the um, the square. Oh, so. Square and compass in a pyramid with an M, as usual. There's a bottle of apple juice. You'll see the G on it, you know, for with a crown on it, for Gilbert, Gilbert, <coughs> in French. <coughs> well, it looks like the G is more important than the name Gilbert, you know. Now, why is that? Well, because these are Freemasons. And they come out of the... <coughs> They come out of the nobility with the crown, that's what it means. With the concept of three, which is them. And the whole thing is in a circle for the compass and the G is uh, the seventh letter in the alphabet and it's always in between the uh, square and compass. And with the bar on each side here, it's also like a sun hieroglyph. And in the G there's a square, you see that? Here, this is a square. There. So it does say square and compass, it, it, says, it says it all. Just by drinking some apple juice it says it all. Right? Here's some pills I got from some good Germans. Because of the pain in my leg it's getting worse and worse. And I don't know if it says Ibu Flam or Ibu Flum. I don't know if, what what this is. Is it an O or is it an A? Why why do they put the triangle and the concept of three in the middle? Why you know why? Because that's them you know the concept of three. And the it's it's a it's a perfect circle here. I, I still don't know if it's an A or an O, but. They're so accentuating the circle. In fact, they want to say that the circle is the concept of three, which I've been explaining to you. Because with a compass you can make a circle which has um, uh, which is in the square and compass, it's like uh, 60 degrees, with 60 degrees. So the compass is 60 degrees and you can make a um, a triangle, the side of a pyramid, a equilateral triangle, as it says, with all equal uh, corners in it. And, and this is what they want to say, that in the circle, so with the compass, the compass is the concept of three, and it is the side of a pyramid, it's the hierarchy. I don't see the concept of four, which is strange. Well, there's a four here, but um, well, that's a bit far-fetched, eh? Um, this is not really a square either in this thing here. It might be if you look at it like if it's like in 3D. So, but anyway. So I have a visit here from a Ukrainian guy, and he just bought these... Uh, house shoes and look at the um, look at the logo two times the Templar V in it it's in a circle for the compass it's red and white Templar colors the whole thing is in a square so it's a square and compass completely uh, occult house shoes so have you ever seen a occult house shoe so there he is 50% less price what? 
for 50% less price. 50% because yeah. of this occult. Only yeah. 5 euros, eh? Yeah, um, almost yeah. 6 or something like this. So you're from the Ukraine, eh? Yes, I'm born, I, w I was born in Golivka, in Ukraine, in yeah. the eastern part by Donetsk. And I lived from 2011 till 2013 in the southern part of Ukraine by Nikolaev. I was going there to school. Um, and from five years to 13 years, I was in Germany living with my mother. So he's, a, he's been a fan of my videos since he is 16 years old. And now he's 22, so we we'll finally meet up. <laughs> okay, you say bye in Ukrainian? Uh, oh my god, I was in the Russian school. Budmo. He's a Ukrainian, but he doesn't speak Ukrainian Not because much, he was yes. in the Russian speaking part. But in his heart and mind, he's full Ukrainian and not Russian, in spite of the fact that his mother we tongue is one. Russian. I guess, and I think so. So he came uh, with his bicycle and all this from Germany. Uh, afterwards, we're going to drink some beers here. Cider. Cider, yeah. Cider, cider, yeah. Cider for the spider. <laughs> yeah, look, the houses look like pyramids. Red for the old world order. Green could be blue like. There are three trees for the concept of three. And in the window there are four parts for the concept of four. So it does say square and compass. And they all know it, you know. They all know it. 